Well, greetings viewers and voyeurs with Got That Funk. <clears throat> I want to thank you for watching and I apologize in advance. My voice is a bit hoarse. It's now Sunday afternoon, beautiful day here in London. Uh, Friday night I was at Bethnal Green uh, to watch the Lucha Britannia Mexican-British wrestling, or is it British-Mexican wrestling? I'm not sure which way you say it, but it's a fucking riot. It's so much fun. I throw myself right into the event. It's absolute cabaret, and, you know, the audience is heartily encouraged to participate, and we sure do, uh, at my own expense, because I've been talking like uh, the Godfather now for a couple of days, but there you go. Anyway, I wanted to give you all an update about some projects I'm working on uh, or intending to work on on the Got That Funk channel because I reckon if I give people fair warning, it won't necessarily mean people unsubscribe when these videos come up. And, uh, you know, I've, I've, I've been, I noticed recently I've got like 30 new subscribers uh, over the past couple of weeks. And I definitely don't want people to think that uh, these videos are necessarily indicative of all the content that's coming on Got That Funk. It's just that they've been stuff I've been working on in my brain. And I want to work on in video, uh, one of which in particular is a, another poem. It's a very, very dark poem written by my best friend, Jen. And uh, it's a poem that was written specifically from a woman's point of view. And I think if it's read out by a male voice, it takes on a completely different connotation. But the poem is extremely dark, to put it mildly. It's a bit dirty as well. And uh, that being so, I just worried that it might put some people off. So you'll know it when you see it, when it comes up, uh, it won't be something that you can mistake by the title. So I won't necessarily have to explain it very much at the time. And I'm not going to. I'm just gonna, when I do the video, it'll just be me reading the poem. But the problem with that is I've tried it now for a couple of weeks about reading this poem and getting the delivery just right to do justice to the words that I'm reading. And it's simply not easy to strike the right tone and the right vibe and the right pace. I mean, if I get my pace right, the vibe is wrong and vice versa. Um, so it's, it's just going to take, it takes an awful lot of uh, patience and, uh, and so on, because I'll, I'll be getting a, a really good take going and then I'll flub it on the last paragraph or whatever. And, um, I, you know, it needs to be read out, not quite in one breath, because it's a long poem, but... Uh, uh, at the same time, it needs to be read in one steady flow, and it's not the kind of thing that I think I could edit together uh, and get the pacing the way it ought to be. And there's a few other videos that I actually wanted to make years ago when I was uh, sort of in my YouTube hiatus. I had a, a couple of ideas for videos that didn't really feature my talking face too much or, or, or at all necessarily. Uh, but I didn't make them at the time because I was in a relationship uh, and I was trying to pay more attention to the family that I was integrating into than the computer. Uh, so I didn't spend much time on YouTube at all back in those days. And I certainly didn't uh, put out a lot of videos back then. And the ones I did almost universally featured my talking head because that's the only kind I had the time to make. But now I'm sort of, especially with the daylight hours just extending into the night, I'm finding myself with a bit more extra time to potentially make videos. And I'd like... I'd, definitely like to take my channel in various different directions and not just make videos that are simply my talking head spouting off about you know social events or politics the news or whatever um, you know also it's obviously gonna be about me myself and I am those of you watching long enough already know that um, but yeah I just want to make sure that when I put out these sort of uh, more creative poems and, and other uh, the poem and other creative videos I've been thinking about that people don't necessarily think that that's what the channel's all about because, you know, I just want to mix it up a lot and uh, for my own benefit as well as that of my viewers. Uh, you know, I want to get back into enjoying this as an art form uh, a little bit more and a little bit less about simple self-expression, although the two aren't mutually exclusive. Anyway, I uh, wanted to give you all a little bit of an update about my private life as well because uh, the last time I did that I was crying on camera and, uh, you know, things are certainly looking up since then. You know, I'm not feeling that woe of missing the ex, uh, really, to any significant degree. Uh, so there's that. That's always a good thing. And, uh, you know, for 2015, I made a New Year's resolution to swear off uh, getting involved in a committed romantic relationship. But at the same time as I made that resolution, I was quite clear that I'm not, you know, averse to other sorts of encounters and relationships, but just not, 
not not anything that uh, you sort of put a label on, shall we say? Uh, and I'm very pleased to be have recently discovered that uh, someone who's very dear to me has basically reawakened her interest in me on a sort of short-term level, as it were, because we both recognize that our lives are ultimately going in different directions. And for us to be going in a parallel direction, one or the other or both of us would have to mangle our current trajectory to the point which would be unacceptable. However, our lives are intersecting at the moment. And it occurred to her, and I'm very pleased because it already had occurred to me, that while our lives are intersecting, we might as well make the most of how we feel about each other. Uh, we have had an on and off crush for like eight years now. And, you know, we have fooled around in the past from time to time. Um, so it's been an interesting road. And I know that, uh, you know, fooling around is dangerous and so on. But if you know the affair is just that, it's an affair. It's, it's not an ongoing relationship. You know at some point you're going to have to call it quits and revert to being friends. And that's okay because we find being friends quite easy. We have way too much in common as personalities. I mean, she's got an extremely big personality and she's quite upbeat and she's incredibly smart. And, um, you know, she's basically just someone that it feels good to be around and she feels the same way about me. So it just makes sense while we're both single to feel good around each other, as it were. So yeah, uh, that's looking up. It means I'm going to have a summer which is uh, a lot more interesting, and that's great. And on a side note, it is kind of uh, no longer a revelation to me, but it is kind of sad to witness myself when I, I realize just how much better it makes me feel <clears throat> about my life and about myself when I know someone desires me in that way. It's a character flaw on my part. Um, it's, I suppose a form of codependence, although I don't actually depend on it because I'm okay without it. But when I have it, I certainly do notice a difference and it would be ridiculous to deny it. So I'm not gonna. Anyway, I want to thank you guys for watching this video and uh, I don't know exactly what's going to come up next on this channel. The poem though, like I say, it's very dark and you will know by the title. Um, so if that's not something you're interested in experiencing on this channel, I wouldn't blame you for not clicking it. In fact, I would prefer it if you didn't click it rather than clicked it and thought, oh no, this is horrible. <laughs> you know, what would be the point of that? I warned you. All right. Anyway, I want to thank you once again. And until next time, may the funk be with you always.